What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and as you can see here we have got a weekly update ready to go or a weekly roundup. Firstly we're going to start with the new players right as ever there are new players on the Thursday we're taking a look at Enzo here for uh, Argentina and obviously he's going to be down as a Showtime player so they haven't released a Showtime player in ages it's always been the boosters but they seem to be getting back to these now there's a couple of them added to the database so we'll get into them in a little bit we'll have a dedicated review as well but there is a nice snazzy little trailer here he goes to 98 overall a lot of people will be happy enough as well I think with this guy uh, I think that this is a good option because if you are going to be bringing boosters and all that sort of stuff like that's great but you still need to keep with the regular you know the regular players and Sabazla is a very very good player in the game and he finally gets a showtime card I know he's been playing well lately 97 overall as an attacking midfielder and we also have somebody that I never thought would get a showtime card is Ritz now this guy was one of my favorite budget players to buy in eFootball 22 and 23 he's insane we'll have a look at his stats as well but yeah look I mean these cards obviously don't compare to the legends in terms of ratings but to be honest with you lads, the ratings and the player stats and all that sort of stuff, it really is dependent on, you know, what kind of experience that you want to have with the game, you know. We also have this Turkish Super League selection as well. There's some nice players in that. We have another trailer for that there as well. Um, very similar players to what released a couple of weeks ago or over the last couple of weeks. But yeah, if you are interested in a couple of those, there are some nice players in there. But again, you're not going to... I would say that these really are kind of starter base players. You're not really going to have them in, you know, anywhere past Division 1, 2 or 3. Uh, and then we have other, obviously our epic national attackers that are still there. Now, we've kind of a bit to get through here, right? Just that we've got the players out of the way. So I'll keep it short and sweet. I don't even have my webcam on because I want to show you a few different bits and pieces with the login bonuses and all that, right? So we get our login bonuses here. We're actually going to be having a Black Friday campaign. So a lot of people were saying, would this come? Would this, would this not come? It actually is coming. Uh, so we're going to be getting a total of 70 coins there. Um, or sorry, not 70 coins. We're actually going to be getting a total of 100 coins there um with 10 today 10 tomorrow 10 the next day and then all the way up until uh the 40 that we're going to get on the fifth day on the 21st of november right this is actually going to also kick in with the um this is going to kick in with the new stuff that are coming we do have some new player of the weeks as well that we'll get into in a second but there is a couple of updates that i want to talk about i'll cover on the stream such as the new um issue with the team play style i've already covered that but i also want to talk about kind of master league and stuff like that in the live stream right we won't get into that right here so there's our login bonus here other than that there's nothing else you'll have to do the new terms of conditions and all that um and then on from that lads it's pretty much cards we have a couple of players out of contract that we're going to have to figure out ronaldinho whatever and listen if you are wondering what players are going to be coming down the line you can kind of go in if you have any of the previous legends and know that if any of them are out of contract like the likes of Romario is out of contract I reckon we'll get a Romario card quite soon um because you know collar is gone in like a day or two right but other than that we'll start with authentic here and then we'll work our way through the USL is the only one that's still ongoing there's 48 days left in that and then for the events themselves, we'll get back to the cards in a second. We do have the Black Friday campaign. That's going to kick off uh, today. And it says special login bonuses and campaign objectives. So you will be getting the 200 free coins with the special login bonus. So it's going to be a two weekly, a two week thing um, with the, or a week thing with the Black Friday campaign. Tour event is going to give you 60,000 and the campaign objectives. So as ever, you can check the objectives in here. You can see that all of these objectives in here, right? There is going to be a few new ones. So scoring goals all the way down to completing objectives and the more you unlock here the more you will unlock to be uh unlocked again uh, i made that complicated match pass as well that will still be ongoing until the 7th of the 12th so you've got loads of times time to do that they extended that i reckon the 7th of the 12th is going to be d day because based on everything else in here um but we'll get into that as well right on to the events themselves uh we do have this black friday one and these events are, anyone to tag here are going to be the Black Friday ones where you get three uh, multiplier uh, for your XP, a, a multiplier by three XP. So if you're getting, you know, 500 XP per game, you're now going to be getting 1500, right? So you've got your traditional European clubs. 
This is going to give you um, your, this is related, it says here, related to the Black Friday missions. And this is going to give you, as a reward, it's going to give you your XP um, after every 1,000 points. So there's a lot of XP on grab, up for grabs there, um, which, look, is nice. I think with the way the training programs are working at the moment, um, it is nice to have a couple of them there. We also have with the Turkish clubs, they're going to give you your free player of the week, the Worldwide November 16. There's two editions of the player of the week this week. Um, so again, you just have to rack up points there against the AI. We also have our coins agent as well. So this one is with the Turkish clubs. It's the Black Friday one as well, using Turkish teams. Your first time victory uh, in this, just win one game in the first reward and you will get 50 eFootball coins. And then of course, you've got the rest of them ongoing, which we've already completed. They'll be finished up on Monday, right? So other than that, lads, it's all about the coins. It's all about, are all about the packs. We have a couple of bits and pieces up here that there is going to be a Black Friday sale. And this Black Friday sale uh, is ongoing right now, right? So a lot of people were asking about this and they were saying, yeah, will there be a sale? How much of a sale? Whatever. But it is limited to just one. So you can actually get 3,400 coins for 19.99. Uh, that's in euro, obviously. Or you can get 850 coins for 5 euro, 5.49, right? Now, ordinarily, these coins here cost 30 quid, right? So 3,300 for 30 quid. Um, you are saving 10 euro basically on that, but you can only buy it once. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of that. If people were asking and they were waiting up to save coins. Um, other than that, lads, as I said, it's all about the cards, right? So we'll get into the cards here. There's no real players added um, to like, I don't think we're going to see a big update to the eFootball point shop or stats or anything like that until December anyway. But we do have a lot of new cards here, right? So we do have the national attack midfielders, right? Showtime national midfielders. So Basile is going to have actually visionary pass. Um, his stats are going to be, or his booster is going to be a technique plus two. Um, we haven't had a showtime booster in a while in terms of like regular players. So that's been nice. Very nice. Um player skills as well we will get into a full review of him he looks to be pretty decent and we also have Enzo so I've been kind of like using Enzo quite a bit he's very very good lads he's really really nice could do with a face upgrade um but he is a very good player he's got dueling which is going to be defensive awareness speed stamina and tackling which is lovely for him acceleration is a bit bad but defensively this guy looks like he could be one of the best defensive box to box similar to how you would build a defensive bellingham um which looks really nice you also have florian ritz as well didn't think this guy would get a card but i'm delighted that he does this is where they need to be focusing on is just kind of cards like this that you can get make them a little bit more obtainable rather than have them behind um these coin only packs i would say make them that you're able to actually you know have them in your squad these are filtered in um you know and, and complete objectives these are filtered in with a couple of other nice players as well as i said we'll get into a full review of all of those and recommendations in another video we also have our worldwide one so this is where you're going to be getting your free spin um and as ever these players are like these is what this is what they are you don't need to train these up or anything you've got timber a serbi carvajal trassard mbappe van dyke if you missed missed out on any of these players before there are some good versions of them in there you've got mbappe down as an attack and midfielder whole player that's going to be interesting right we'll get into him there's a lot to talk about with this card we also have van dyke um there as well who's got 90 tackling 94 defense uh, awareness as well which is quite decent we also have the European Club Championship. So these are kind of like Champions League, Europa League style players. Um, Saka, Rodrigo, all uh, you know, Rafael Leao, Griezmann. Again, I will get into a full review of them as well. And they're going to be ongoing for the next seven days until next Thursday, right? Um, we also have, and lastly, we have the Turkish League, which we just saw there as well. So, yeah, I mean, listen, these cards for me are a mixture between early game, beginners, you know, mid game and end game. Like there's some players and cards in here that you can definitely use to take on Division 1. The rest of the stuff that's going on here um, will probably be updated in the next 20 days or so, you know. So we'll see all of these updated in 20 days. In 20 days time, what date is that? Yeah, that's going to be an interesting one, right? So we'll get into that again on the stream. Um, we also will take a look. There are going to be new legends coming uh, next week, which we'll do a video on as well. So I'll do a full review on these, obviously, and a bit of a preview as well um, over the weekend but and maybe on my live stream. But we do have a new English League Guardians coming on the 20th of November, which is Monday. And there you can see some of the players there. Endo, uh, Van de Ven, a few people were asking for another version of him. They're getting him, Ruben Diaz, Pau Torres. 
And also, we are going to be getting our legends. So they have added two, two, two to three new legends. I know Batistuta is still there. Don't know whether he's going to be released as a reward or whatnot. But Gilberto Silva has been added. Gilberto Silva from uh, Arsenal. They'll all probably have 33 levels as well. We'll do a full uh, breakdown of them and have a look at their stats later. But we also have the big one, lads, which is going to be Petr Cech. And the bigger boy altogether is going to be Patrick Vieira. Patrick Vieira is going to be an absolute monster, lads. His base stats are going to be incredible. We will do a full video on that and a preview of these players because I definitely think Vieira is going to kind of break up that meta that is currently there in the game. So that is it for me, lads. Just a quick weekly roundup. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you later on in the stream, boys.